What do you think of the uh, Bay Area rap scene now in comparison with, um, say, other parts of the country? Right now, the Bay Area is like how the Bronx was in 1981. You know what I'm saying? It's like everybody's hot. They caught the bug. So everybody's trying to be creative. They're trying to make something. They're trying to make their own claim. Because in New York, it just got to be where you couldn't outdo this next per- the person that just came from New York. So now it's like, it's not really that many people to outdo. You can do something, and if it's good enough, you people will remember you. So that's what everybody's doing. So that's what's that. It's like a renaissance jumping off. You know? Okay, New York, in my opinion, the renaissance got stopped short for a number of reasons. What do you think... Um, will prevent that from happening with the Bay Area? What do you think will strengthen the hip-hop scene here? What do you think will take away from it? Well, at the risk of sounding, I don't know, but the di- di- digital underground is, is, is unlike any group. It's unlike any group. It's, I, I'll give that to Shaq because he made it so that, like, uh, everything digital underground does is helping Oakland. It's helping the Bay Area music scene. And because it grows and goes to New York and gets people from all over the country, it, it helps the Bay Area, you know what I'm saying? Because we, we here, this is where we dwell at. So it's rubbing off all down here, all off on here. And okay. More people are know, knowing about Oakland, right. and seeing a different side, you know what I'm saying? What do you, okay, so you think digital will be one thing that will strengthen the Bay Area rap scene because it brings more national attention. What about mm-hmm. just the groups themselves and the attitude that they have towards hip hop? What well, do you think it will take to keep them growing? What we have to do is not um, concentrate so much on a group but more on the area you know what I'm saying not just build up Too Short and Digital Underground and Tony 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 like that's it that's the only thing that can come out of here and keep keep putting them down let it let the new groups come out nobody wants to give them a chance because everybody's so steady talking about Too Short and Digital Underground and da 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 they gotta let these other groups come out that's trying to come in you know what I'm saying that's coming from the bottom that can really when you say when you say let them come up um, what do you mean the music industry Industry, give them a chance to give them a chance. Like you know, instead of like like letting them do interviews where nobody ever reads them, let somebody else. You know, let a, a good paper interview them. Instead of having them on radios when nobody's ever going to hear them at a time when nobody's ever going to hear them, have them on. You know, what I'm saying where people can hear them and when people can get at them when they have a better chance. Just like they would do if it was Mariah Carey. You know, what I'm saying. Right. Put them in a real playtime. Do you find um? That the Bay Area sounds being uh, respected. You find that people are, are, are adhering to it or, or are starting to enjoy it from around the country. Or I think that the Bay Area sounds not even finished coming out. So the more and more is getting respected, more and more every day. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That more and more. Okay, um, your brother Mercedes mm-hmm. was a rapper and Tony Tony um, feel good. What's the story with him? Are you going to team up with him? Are you teamed up? Or? He's an underground railroad. He's part of that group and part of that program and part of that whole thing. He's about to come out with another guy called Dana Slick D. Mousey. They're about to come out with a little something. Okay. Well, so who produced your album? And are you into producing if you did do, you know? The un- I did. I co-produced it with, along with the Underground Railroad, which was like Shock G, um, Money Beaten, Raw Fusion, Pee Wee, Jay-Z from Richmond, Stretch and the Live Squad, all over, you know, Underground Railroad. It's really like a, a life thing, you know what I'm saying? Underground right. Railroad. It affects everything we do.